Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix the ERR10 unsupported DXGI fatal error with Monster Hunter World on PC. So this is a very common issue if you just got done changing some graphic settings on Monster Hunter World. It was running great. You close it down, you went to boot it back up, and then boom, it no longer is working for you. So, how do we fix this? We need to revert our graphic settings back to what they were, back to the preset. Problem is, the game won't launch for us to change this. How do we fix it? Well, this is actually a pretty simple step. All you have to do is open up your file explorer. You're going to navigate to the drive that you have Monster World installed on. This is going to be through Steam. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on my program drive. That's drive D. I'm going to go to Program Files 86. Then I'm going to go to Steam, because it is a Steam game. Then I'm going to go to Steam Apps. From here, I'm going to go to, I believe it's Common. Yep, Common. Then I'm going to go to Monster Hunter World. And then from here, I have Graphics Options. Now, if you double-click this, this will give you the option to manually change these graphic options. You could try and reset these back to your default. But even if I set my resolution, typically what causes Monster Hunter World to crash is when you play it in 4K. Uh, I could put this back to 1080p, but it still usually crashes. So what I want to do is I want it to read this preset. This is the default graphics that it'll be set to launch with, and this is what usually works. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this graphics option preset and not change it. Make sure you do not change this preset. Don't, don't make any changes to here and don't save any changes. This is very important to keep. And what you're going to do is you're going to select graphics options here, and this is what you're going to right click and you're going to do delete. And that is what you want removed. And as soon as this is removed, Monster Hunter World will work. So let's go ahead and select and click play for Monster Hunter World and launch this up here. And you'll see that now we will no longer get that fatal error like we were getting before. And lo and behold, it is booting up for us. Now, another thing I want to point out is as soon as we launch Monster Hunter World again, uh, you can't see right now because we are on a black screen, but uh, it is booting up, so this is all great and fine and dandy, and I'm just going to go ahead and boot in, and we'll let that boot up. We'll just kind of do all that. It's loading data and doing all this stuff, checking for content. Uh, as soon as this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. See, here it has. It's booted up. It's now working. This is great, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do quit. We're going to quit the game. And now what I want to show you guys is notice our graphics options are now back and it has taken over that default. So everything that was in our graphics option presets, this is what it should default to, has now been moved over to our graphics options here. So all you literally have to do is just delete this graphics options file and your presets will revert, take the effect when you launch the game and you'll no longer have that crash because the, um, the graphic settings for Monster Hunter World will be reset back to the default working settings they were before they got broken when you changed them, just like I did. I was messing around with my graphic settings, wanting to play in 4K, and apparently that's not working too well right now. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope that this has helped solve that issue for you, and I hope this has got Monster Hunter World working for you again. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I hope you found it helpful, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next tutorial.